the three steps you need to take before you start investing. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today, it's basically, I'm going to be doing a, a different sort of video than what I usually do. Obviously, you always see my um, dividend portfolio updates, which are regular. But I think this topic does need to be addressed as well as people obviously want to invest and want to get money. But the steps before it that you'll need to know, guys, before you do take the plunge into the investing world. So I myself, I've gone through it. I went through saving money after being in lots of bad ways with money, but I've come out on the other side and hopefully my road to financial freedom is well on its way. So I'll get into with the three steps that you need to stay, to take before you start investing. The first one is you need to take control of your finances and debt. This is This is the first step and it's probably the most crucial, guys, because if you want to start investing, you're going to need to have some money and be good with your money and control it. But if you're in debt, then, well, you can't invest money really, guys, because you need you need to clear all that debt. You need to pay off all your bad your debts, i.e. your credit card loans, the other sort of debts that you owe. Basically, anything that's not an asset, because well, that's what I mean by bad debt. It's stuff like um, loans and credit card payments. I don't mean like your mortgages on your house, because... People do see them that they can be bad assets as well, but I see a, I see a home as an asset which you can obviously do in the fu- do up in the future and make a profit on if you're into um, real estate. The next one is you need to track all of your expenses, whether that be on a mon- monthly basis or a weekly basis. You need to get gritty with these numbers, guys. When I say gritty, you need to note down every single outgoing from your bank account. And then following into the which will be the next topic, I'll tell you more about the numbers and whatnot then. But yeah, that's really important, guys. Tracking your expenses. Point number two is you need to create a budget and start saving. You need to create a weekly or monthly budget, i.e. the 50-30-20 rule. If you're not sure what that is, basically it's a budget template which is being set up where you can allocate certain percentages of your money each month to your outgoings. So whether it could be 50% for your vital stuff like your uh, your bills, i.e. your water, your gas and electric, all that sort of stuff in your home, your transport, food, all that sort of stuff. And 30% going towards your wants, which could be, say, if you want to go out and have an occasional drink, a night out, a meal, that sort of stuff, whether you uh, go to watch your sports team play, any of, that, any of that sort of thing. But the last bit, guys, 20%, you need to put towards your investments and your savings account. And This this budget generally, you, it can be quite flexible depending on your income and how much your, your expenses are. You can change it to possibly 7, you could change it to 70, 20, 10, whatever you want to do, guys. But there's plenty of templates that are online which can help you with this. The next one is start saving and create an emergency fund. Ideally, it needs to be around three to six months worth of expenses, but generally I don't have that much saved up yet as I'm still saving, but I probably do have around about a good two months worth of my expenses at the moment saved up, which is really good for me, guys, because this time last year I was, in a lot of, I was in a lot of debt myself in my overdraft and something had to change, so I'm glad I really, and I really want to help people who also could be struggling with the finances, get better with their money. Your expenses need to be less than your income. Another big one, guys, if your expenses exceed your income, you're never, ever going to get ahead. So that's where the budget really will come into play. If you can just, if you can get that money set, even if at first it's only £50 a month, that's great, it's a start. But if you're going into overdraft, two, £300 every month, that is not good, guys, so... You really do need to have lower expenses, figure out it, figure it out whatever way you want. You could go to a different grocery store, which could be buying the off-brand products, which aren't the main ones. You could say, like, I've been doing that myself. I save probably £60, £70 pound a month for my shop now, which is probably one of the main, the main bills that go out every month. And the next step is do your own research. Uh, myself guys this is one of the first things i did as well i read books i watched youtube videos about how to invest and how to save i was i've been 
obviously recently I've been watching people like Nate O'Brien, he's really, really good, you've got Graham Stefan, all these other people on YouTube guys who have really, really good knowledge, JJ Buckner is a new one who I've um, started watching, he's really inspiring, he's sort of smallish YouTuber compared to the first the two I first said but he comes up with some really really good stuff as well guys I'll link all their profiles below and go and check out their videos but yeah read books as well guys I'm there's some books which I've read with the richest man in Babylon there's the intelligent investor the wealthy barber and again I'll link all these down in the descriptions but the more knowledge you can build up as Mr Warren Buffett said himself investing in yourself is this the best investment you could do? Not in stocks or bonds or ETFs. And also, one of the final things is, if before you start investing, you need to do your own checks on companies that you want to invest in. And what I mean by that is, you need to see how good the company are, how reliable the dividend is, and so forth. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could please give a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated, guys. All the best. Bye.